how to use Flask to do file transfer. Let's get into it. So first of all, you want to make sure you have Flask insul installed to do this. You can just type in pip install. And in my case, I would just say Flask and that I mistyped that. And for me, it'd say requirement already satisfied, but for you, it will download. And then you can just create a file. You can call it host.py or server.py. And you can just say from Flask import Flask with a capital letter, request and response. And then we want to create a new Flask instance by creating a variable called app. And we just want to say Flask uh, the capital letter flask and then just underscore underscore name underscore underscore and then we want to say at app dot root and we can just say backslash or slash really depending on how you like to say it so what this will do is whenever the flask instance detects that we visited this url here we would call this function and in my case it just returns a response and it opens a file uh, this is just a zip file for me and it has a mode set to read bytes and i have the mime type set to application slash zip and then to actually run this Flask instance, we just say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to in, in quotes underscore underscore main underscore underscore. And then we just want to say app.run 192.168.2.84. To find that, you can go into your terminal and if you're on Windows, you would type in IP config. And if you're on Linux, you would type in IF config. And for my case, it's 192.168.2.84. Um, and then you want to create another Python file, and you can just call it downloader or receiver. And we want to import requests as the as req, and we just want to say response is equal to rec.get. And then we're getting the IP of the server. In my case, it's 192.168.2.84. At port 5000, that is the default Flask port. And you want to make sure it's HTTP unless you've set up SSL. But I have not set up SSL for the server. And then we just want to say slash. And then we want to create a new file variable. And you can just say open my file. And then you can just have it set to like a read bytes and you can create a new file. So that's what we just did there. We create a new file and we open it. And then we want to write the response to that file. And then we want to remove it from memory by saying file.close or in my case, fd.close. So to actually run it, I will open up my desktop folder, uh, open terminal, and then I will run the server in VS code here. And then here I would say Python three and i just say downloader.py and that is because i misspelled it here and as we can see here in the server it got a request and if i just do a ls on my desktop we can see we have the my file and i'm just going to go ahead and remove my file and if i do another ls we can see it's gone so if you found this video informative be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel helps get content like this recommend others that's all for me for now funny bird out